Welcome to the watching show, a show you can watch. Today we are continuing our very long but enjoyable playthrough of Everlasting, no, Everlasting Sausage. <laughs> try to find, try to find out what Alyssa and Lynn are arguing about. Do nothing, just stay seated. I want to do this one. Okay. Nice. But on the other hand, why should I care? You shouldn't, but I, I want to see. All I was doing was just watching the fire. There that is, sounds nice. I should have done that. Damn. There is a saying that claims that one could watch it forever as well as running water. But there was also something, some third thing there. What was that? Girls arguing. One could watch three things forever. <laughs> Burning fire, running water, and how other people work. What? That's kind of odd that she said that as I was thinking it. The camp leader pulled me out of my daydreaming. Semyon, don't you think that it's too early to relax? That's nonsense. What else am I need? What do I need? What do I? What do I need to do? I honestly couldn't figure out what she wanted from me. I don't know. She stopped. I me. just want you to struggle. Yeah. But if there is something <laughs> to be done, then do it without hesitation. Mm. She smiled ambiguously and went back to the fire and threw a few branches on. What? What? Oh no, she, she's so bossy. Yeah, but that's 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 a not a love language, but a type. That's to put it bluntly, that's the mommy category type. So you're nodding. Just want to, for the listeners of the watcher to know that yes. you acknowledge it. Okay. It is true. After those words, I'm completely sure that she treats me like a personal slave. Except so hot. way better so hot. as I do not get lashes <laughs> <laughs> or treatment that is less human. The Oh, man. I just thought of something really bad. Should I say it? You can say no. I don't care. The, only, don't lashes, the only lashes are hers betting against my balls. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Or at least, like, I'm a free labor force, which is strictly speaking the same thing. So I'm just want to have you clarify really quickly. Is she blinking really close to your testicles? Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> She's just like... Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's bad. I, I told you it was bad before I said it. Yeah, but I don't understand. <laughs> because the joke is lashes. She's, you said she's not giving me lashes, so it's good. And I was like, the only lashes I want from her are... Yeah, but why do you want her to blink by your balls? Because it's I'm, sexual. I want, it's I, sexual it's to blink sexual. by your balls? If it involves balls, it's sexual. So if, if I said lashes on my back, it would not be sexual. I had to pick a sexual part. Okay, but but why her eyelids? <laughs> because those are lashes. Yeah, like, okay. I just don't know. It I wasn't a like, great joke, okay? I, no, I'm no, it's, it's a fine enough joke, but I, I just really, I'm, I, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm, put, I'm literally. Uh, you have to use I'm your imagination. I'm busting your balls about this, like because yeah, there it's, you go. That's that you brought it back around. So like, balls. I'm like physically think about this. Picture a woman this. kneeling down. Picture this. This is very important. You picture and these getting things. close enough to your balls to touch them Imagine so close that. that only her eyelashes touch your balls. You do you lack imagination, or are you trying to break my balls? Because I'm you trying to break people, them. You could put somebody. You could move people around. You could put one of those two people upside down. The orientation is completely different. So I just want you to think about how weird that is. Because it's there weird are weirder thing things, my friend. Like actual lashes. I just try to keep with eyelashes and like try to make human eyelashes sexual as quickly as I could, and that's what I came up with. That's my excuse. Hey, you know what? If you, you got had a better to come up with sexual lashes reference, I just want to know what that's called on Urban Dictionary. You know, I don't want to know that badly, but I'm sure it's a thing. Do you think that blinking lashes on balls? Sure. Blinking next to testicles is a thing. I know lashes on b cheeks is a thing. So it is. Sure, it is. So it wouldn't be very really? far. Sure, it is. How do you know that? Because in a stand-up skit with Tom Segura, he mentioned that. <laughs> All right. Really? All right. All right. Okay. It's more, okay. I get it now. I'm standing my ground. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want my lashes on my balls, and I'm sticking to my convictions. <laughs> I didn't say I want it. I was trying to make a sexual joke with lashes. All right. I'm done. You succeeded, man. I'm done. I'm done. All right. I sighed and put my head down on my hands, hoping my torments would be over for today. What about the girls? I'm supposed to see what they're doing. Someone patting me on the shoulder. Uh, with their eyelashes. With their eyelashes. <laughs> I looked up and saw a short electronic who sat next to me. What do you want? I start AS tiredly. Don't be sad. Is there Get any glad. And he starts like giving you <laughs> whole commercial. trash bags. Yeah. Is there anything better to do? Look, we've been discussing the possibilities for the advancement of the cybernetics club with Olga Dmitrievna. And there's a problem. We need more men. If you could, he hesitated. And she advancement and those guys are incompatible with each other. Man, I'm so mean. You're I the said, worst. I said nothing. It started to look over the pioneers around me instead. 
Well, I don't have time. Can't you see that I'm always busy with camp leaders' errands? Yeah, I guess you're right. It's kind of embarrassing how it all went today with Oliana. I looked at him with surprise. It seems that Shurik blames himself for that cake accident. Yeah, it is. All the pioneers seem to be here, but I couldn't spot Slavia anywhere. I think she is angry with me. Who? I asked absently. Oliana, maybe I should apologize. Why? What, what does she have to do with the cake? Uliana is the one who dove at it oh, and got in trouble. I was thinking Slavia for some reason. Thank you. No, it's not your fault. We said silently for a while, and then I stood up and said, My legs are numb. I better take a walk. I'm supposed to go see the two girls. They made no reply. But I made a few circles around our improvised camp, noticed the close looks, close looks of the camp leader following me. Looks like Olga Dmitrievna couldn't wait to come up with some kind of new task for me. I haven't found Slavia anywhere. Maybe I should go and try to find her? On the other hand, I felt sorry for Oyana every time I recalled her upset face. I felt bad for Miku too, very bad. Maybe this hike isn't the most entertaining thing but ever, but sitting here all alone isn't any better either. But at the same time, I didn't want to go anywhere. Well, my, cho my choice not matter? I just chose to go see what they were talking about and it did not address them at all. That was weird. Well, it's allowing you to go check it out now because apparently you were about to go check it out and now they're done. So, like, now you get to go. You want to follow up with that? Do you want to find Slavia or do you want to yeah. remain seated? So, I would choose this one uh, for two reasons. I'm curious about this, but, but not super curious. And I want to follow a, a girl branch all the way through. You okay. Know, if I can, I want this one. I want one to work. And if I click this one, I'm afraid I won't get any, I don't know, conclusions okay. to any stories. Yeah, yeah. I was absolutely sure that Slavia was all right, so I decided to stay. Why would I do that, though, after just brushing her off like an asshole? <sighs> I guess that's enough for me today. If I die in the game, I won't be mad. I sat in my precious place and waited for the end of the hike patiently, almost physically able to feel the looks of the camp leader aimed at me. At least, at last, she stood up and declared, Hello, Akbar. <laughs> now let's play cities. <clears throat> It's time to hike. <laughs> it's the yeah. second time. <laughs> I had nothing against the game hike! itself. But it was obvious that the hike will take longer because of it. Pioneers sat around the fire. I noticed Lena and Alyssa, who took their places on the trunk opposite of me. It seems everything is all right. And just a few moments, minutes ago, I thought I, I thought the opposite while looking at the quarrel. But anything is possible. Looks like that resolved itself. I'd really like to know what they're talking about, but it's impossible now, and I feel it tiredless. I feel tiredness growing in you. Oh more my gosh! More. If he talks about how tired he is anymore, I get it, bro. My mind was completely blank. Fall asleep. To be precise, my head was so heavy that there was no place for it to uh, ideas to unfold. While in my better times, my brain appeared to be a wide hive with millions of thoughts running by, chasing one another and causing major crises. Now it was more like a footpath lost in the woods, which is used rarely and only in exceptional cases. Slavy didn't come back. Maybe she had something to do. But once again, there's no way to find out now. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Hike. Hiking. Yeah, Moscow. Mm. Pioneers started to name cities. Finally, it was my turn. I tried to listen carefully to catch the first letter of the city I'll have to use. Arghangelisks. We played several rounds. Each new city name made it harder to remember everything that was mentioned before. My attention was dissipating, and I was already lost in these capitals. Megalopolises. Megalopolises. Megalopolises, villages, and urban settlements. Mm. Samian. Samian, it's your turn. I quit. Dmitry Evna brought me back to reality. Oh, excuse me, Anna. What was that last one? You're daydreaming again. That's illegal. <laughs> it's Sevastopol. Oh. Huh. Oh, okay, I'll say London, bitch. Already used. Oh, well then, <clears throat> it got me thinking. There were tons of cities in the world, starting with L, but it was hard to remember even one of them now. Liverpool. Liverpool. Oh, yeah. Already there. Uh, Los Angeles. Ah, uh, finally. Mm. I gave the demon the correct words to evaporate. I could hardly bear to think of another city starting with L, but fortunately, it was the last round. Okay, that's enough for today. Only you are in trouble. Yeah, I sighed with relief. On the way back, we walked as we liked without joining in pairs. Okay, geez, it was super, super hard for me to understand. Noise. Night descended upon a camp, a perfectly regular and normal night. It was one of those nights when dark sky stars and even the crescent moon don't usually don't cause any special feelings and the chirping of crickets and the songs of the night birds seemed more like routine work noises than nocturnal chorus. Oh, we went back home? Oh, and a few, yes? Wait, did we, did you just walk back did home? Did you forget to hike? 
you didn't hike? Turn oh. this thing around. We're hiking back. Yeah, start yeah. again. Yeah. In a few minutes, all the pioneers were lining up in the square. It was quite late already, and fatigue took its toll, so our lineup wasn't perfectly aligned. It looked to me more like a line of Vikings after a successful battle where the warriors are happy and smiling, anticipating their return to their families rather than thinking about me the incorrect information. Formation, probably. So someone else could probably see a completely defeated group, troop or a bunch of survivors who have to march to their homeland with the last of their strength. Thanks, everyone. And now go to sleep. It's late already. What the stupid Take game. these pillows in the raccoons. Yes. That's not super far off. Pioneers <laughs> quickly <laughs> Pioneers quickly ran to vibrating pillows. Pioneers quickly ran each ran their own ways. And as I got left with the camp leader, oh no. And we should go to say in a sultry way, like this is her intention. And we should go to nice. <laughs> <laughs> we went to complete silence. <laughs> All I could hear was the sound of her breathing. Yeah. Do that. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> okay, let's sleep. Let's hike. The slowest ever disappearance. Yeah, I've seen it slow like that once before. She said, turning into the darkness. I was tossing and turning for quite a while, <laughs> recalling all the events of the day. On the one hand, I was overcome with fatigue. Yeah, I know. On the other hand, I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd forgotten something, done something wrong, or said something wrong. Did I forget to sleep? Did I forget to yeah. hike? Yeah, that's yeah. a good one, though. And this feeling of incompleteness was tormenting me. It was about 2 a.m. I was so tired. <laughs> yeah. Just keep saying. Guys, you would not believe how tired I was. Very tired. All bad things would end sooner or later, just like the good things. Or at least they would take a break. Mm. Day six. Nope. I fell asleep. Thank God. Uh, Have a dream. No. Day six. There's still, there's still a possibility for a dream. All right. Don't be afraid of your dream. Yeah. I want to see intense pictures. I don't know what time it was. And Olga Dmitrieva woke me up, but even before I opened my eyes, I felt the imminence of death. I obviously don't like her. My whole body ached. I felt dizzy. My mind was clouded by his. Samian, wake up immediately. I heard his breakfast while pulling his lawn up. Uh. Looks like the camp leader intends to exploit me to the fullest today, the same as any other day. I garbled something, covered my head with the blanket, and turned to the wall. Get up right now. In the She's end. like choking you, like with. It, Nah, uh, she wouldn't, she wouldn't touch me. Olga Dmitrieva's anger will never go beyond words. Hey, that's what I just said. At least I really wanted to believe so then. Stand up right now or... Or what? I was going to say triumphantly, but kept silent. Not because of fear, just because I felt too lazy to open my mouth. Really, what could she do to me? Lecture me at the lineup? Hang my photo on the wall of shame? Or use me for some inhuman alien experience? Well, I'm ready for that too. Just let me sleep a couple of hours. Okay, but if you miss the lineup... The door slammed behind the camp leader and the sleep which had been about to fade claimed my mind again. So I fell asleep? Uh-huh. Huh. So I don't know what's going to happen. I woke up dazzled by sunlight. It was 1 p.m. according to my cell phone, which I have not used for some reason, which was squeezing the last drops of charge out of its battery. Strangely enough, my body didn't ache. My head felt clear, and in all, all in all, it was good beginning to the day. After waving my arms, pretending to do early exercises, I sprang out to the cabin and headed to the wash stands. Yeah, I slept through breakfast, but will be served lunch soon, so I shouldn't worry about. Shouldn't worry that all I have. I shouldn't worry that I'll have to stay hungry like I did yesterday. Mm. Who the balls is that? I don't know, but you're voicing him. Oh, weird. Yeah, <laughs> he, you're missing your like eyes you. too. I don't think so. My hair is longer than his. Along the way, I met the pioneer whose face somehow looks strangely familiar. Maybe you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Bye. But I was going so fast, I couldn't really see him. And when I turned around, he was already gone around the corner. Hmm. There was nobody near the wash stands. I double checked for electronic before <laughs> to make sure he wasn't going to come take his shirt off. <laughs> oh, hey there again. Oh, hey there, big guy. Do the big guy. Hey there, big guy. <laughs> Let me show you what you can do with maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you about this breakfast syrup. Everyone uh, everyone is probably busy with Olga Dimitra's task and God knows what else. I, I have brought my teeth. musket to show you my shooting skills. Mm, water. Ah, there he is. I pioneer leaned against the wash stands over there. I couldn't see his face or eyeballs. But judging by his figure, he looked like the one I saw a couple minutes ago. How are you doing? The sun's so bright today. I looked up into the sky, shielding my eyes with my palm. 
Uh, yeah, nothing special. It wasn't easy to get a better look at the pioneer, given the way he stood. The bright sunlight that reflected from the water and shiny metal surfaces of the wash stains heavily obscured his face, and I wasn't able to distinguish any single feature. The camp leader is angry today. So angry. His voice sounded painfully familiar, too. <laughs> if he's supposed to be familiar to anyone, it must be myself. It could be. So maybe you could do a Russian accent? I don't know. Well, she's always liked it. Well, you'd know better, yeah. I tried to remember if I've ever heard this voice or seen this pioneer before. Now I know who it is. It's Squirrel Warburton. The animal has turned <laughs> oh, into a person. <laughs> you see my natural true form. Yeah. At last. Well, see ya. He turned the water off and quickly marched toward the forest path. For a second, I thought of following him, stopping him, but I quickly forgot it off. For quickly fought it off as I decided that it's not worth spoiling such a great morning with suspicions and burdensome speculations. Nature was glowing with the bright light of life. Lush tree tops were written with slaying in the wind, whispering to each other. The breeze gently stroked the high amber glass. Birds were cooing in the shade, especially the midday heat. The woods, the fields stretching beneath the horizon were dissolving in the warm sunlight. Oh, huh. twice now. I don't know which month it is, but it now. It now. But it looks like midsummer. It's everlasting summer, dude. I distinctly remember the summer vacations of my childhood and youth. Times of fun, leisure, and carefree joy. <sighs> childhood games. How many there were? Wow, again. Oh, oh. Click. There were three. We <laughs> played three childhood games. All through childhood. Uh, I wouldn't say no to playing war games or hide and seek now or swinging on a bungee or those maybe were building, the three yeah there they are or maybe building a sand castle and inhibiting it with so toy soldiers ready to defend our master to to the last drop of their plastic blood did you say inhabitating i probably <laughs> did i'm getting tired i went to the square and sat on the bench waiting for lunch yeah because the lunch is at the square it looked like there wasn't much time left before lunch from time to time pioneers passed me by me, sometimes alone, sometimes in pairs of groups of three. So I didn't talk to the girls. I didn't find Slavia. My choices didn't do diddly. It's kind of annoying, but always someone I didn't know. But always someone I didn't know. Elisa, Ulyana, Lena, and Slavia were nowhere to be seen. Thoughts about the meaninglessness of existence were circling in my brain, but this didn't worry me on such a beautiful day. Just think about it. Who could think of grieving for his life lived in vain or lost early while basking in the rays of such a friendly sun? It's possible, my friend. Certainly not me. I looked upon Gend. It was, he was meditating, as always. Now he's smelling his finger. <laughs> ah, yes. Now he definitely never gets any unnecessary doubts. I remembered my first hours in this camp in the day before. The anguish, the anxiety, and fear. They all seem so far away now. Although, so little time is passed. Will I get out of here or not? It didn't concern me as much as before. Maybe I'm already dead. Then this is the last stop. Please get off the train. <laughs> What are you thinking about? I looked up and saw the pioneer that I'd seen before. I couldn't see his face again. The sun was shining in my eyes. You know, life. It seemed he would sit down next to me, but the pioneer stayed in the same place, only half turned, which completely killed any hope of seeing his face. Listen, have we met earlier? I don't think I remember you. Well, let's just say you know who I am. Let's just say you know who I am. What's on? Like, it's like, just Italian like, food. <laughs> but I don't. I laugh sincerely. <laughs> it's going to be a, it's a, okay, here's what I think. You're still dreaming and it's yourself you're talking to. Here. Huh. You don't. Here. Oh, here in this reality or this place. Here you, you don't. don't. He answered short. Oh, uh, maybe it's your older self. Uh, what about my, yeah, older self. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, maybe that. Honestly, it's not like I didn't want to talk. I just didn't know what to talk about. And my soul was so calm that this didn't bother me. Your first time here. He asked the question, but his tone implied he was only expecting a confirmation. Yeah, and you? Me? He paused for a few seconds. Nah, it's not my first time here. Ugh. One might say I visited this camp every year since my early childhood. Such an answer got me interested. Well, and what was it like before? It's always the same. Olga Dmitrievna being the camp leader, all the same pioneers around... All the same lineups at the morning and all these wicked accidents. For a moment, I thought that he was speaking. It, it, it was, was me, me speaking, not him. It's clearly me. Yeah. If not, it's my dad, like, you know, but it's basically me. I interesting. It's just that with every new. He hesitated. Year. More and more interesting things happen. And 
One gets to understand better what's going on. What are you talking about? This conversation positively triggered my curiosity. It's a pity that I can't distinguish the face of this pioneer at all. Well, every session in the pioneer camp reminds me of the previous one. He said calmly. Probably this is my first. It shows. The pioneer grinned. But it looks like that won't be the last. Well, it's funnier and all, but you know how they say there's no place like... Mars? (laughs) Mars? <laughs> Mars. But you still have to get back to Mars. That's your home, right? No. I derived that from your cool shirt. It's Martian. He was hiding some bullshit. Martian make. They make those there. To be precise, he stood out too much from the camp's usual ordinaries and was too different from the local inhabitants. What do you mean? You think I'm stuck here forever or something? I said in this enunciating every word. <laughs> Not really. Ah, yes. The pioneer had no time to answer as the lunch bell sounded and it was law. I couldn't just skip lunch to ask the most important question of my life. Right. (laughs) (laughs) The bell has spoken. I turned my head toward the loudspeaker, and by the time I looked back, the guy was already gone. Interesting. Uh, Maybe that's the guy who was following me. Oh, interesting. Somebody was. Thousands of theories and speculations instantly appeared in my mind, but I stopped myself remembering all the apparent normality of this camp, and I just forgot all all, and went back to this bullcrap. Nothing supernatural has happened these five days. Moreover, everything here seemed too natural, sometimes even boring. Maybe this pioneer didn't mean anything by that, and I just misunderstood him. Thinking that, I went to the canteen, intending to feast. But I could not stop thinking about that in my mind. Perhaps I am from Mars. I have to find the rocket ship and get home. I've always liked, I've always liked, uh, red. (laughs) 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 You couldn't couldn't think of anything. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking I should go to Mars. I mean, I, I always liked red. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to say that. <laughs> Sometimes it seemed to me that lunch here is akin to the crowds around the soup kitchens during famine. Pioneers are running around pushing each other. Uh, other funny things about killing each other. I was calmly standing and patiently waiting for the cook to get me my assigned food rations. For lunch today, we had oroshka, which oh, I didn't really like, and cutlets with potatoes. I sat in the corner and mentally rejoiced that I'll be able to eat in peace. What's your bet? It's going to be in peace. My table was the farthest from the kitchen. I could reasonably hope that the pioneers who were looking for a free place wouldn't reach it. I about had a heart attack because the second poster from the left on the wall, it looked like a person with their legs like all the way up over their shoulders, but it's really just two people in the background on either side of the yeah. shoulders. But you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. I've it looks like they're wearing like a weird white diaper and their legs are like pulled back up to their, like beside their what ears. What it looked like to me was a naked man. Yeah. You know, I was like, oh no, I mean, it's not. It's right. Just it's just like a weird beach photograph. Slavia Shorek Electronic appeared from the crowd. Why? Can we? I had nothing against their company. Of course, nerds. Lunch is going surprisingly calmly. Even Electronic wasn't jabbering as he usually does. I finally finished the meal, sprawled in my chair, and, satisfied, clicked my tongue. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I know it? Yeah, you just saw coming. Listen, do you know this pioneer? Looks like me, talks like me, mysterious like me, no eyes like me. Is me. Is me. <laughs> uh, the plot stick around him. I suddenly realized that I don't really know how to describe him. Well, about my height, same constitution. Hard to say from such a description. Is it you? Are you calling me boring? Slavia smiled. Well, we have half a camp of such guys if it comes to that. All in all, they were right. I am boring. Why are you asking? It's just that I met him today, and it seemed like I haven't seen him here before. Look in the canteen. I don't think he will miss lunch. Why didn't I think of that? That's it. Okay, guys. Enjoy me all. Fuck off. I got up and started to slowly walk around the rows of tables. Lena and Genia are sitting over there. I gave them a friendly smile. Sukas. Elisa and Ilyana were laughing and arguing about something. They're the best of friends. Olga Dmitrievna, surrounded by pioneers. Good. Think she didn't notice me. There are hardly any free seats, but the guy from this morning is nowhere to be seen. The situation is getting more and more interesting. Looks like I won't find him here. Maybe he already had lunch. I headed to the exit. It was so hot outside that it seems like you would instantly melt after coming out of the shade. I suddenly felt like sleeping. Uh. Not a big surprise. I yawned and headed to the camp leader's cabin in order to follow the domestic interpretation of the Archimedes principle. What? In the end, 
Olga Dmitrievna. Olga Dmitrievna is unlikely to return anytime soon. And at least I think so. And I will definitely have a couple hours to rest. No. Anyways, I really don't expect any other option to arise, especially in this heat. The heavenly coolness in the cabin became my salvation. I took the clothes off. I took my clothes off and jumped into the bed. Crickets were lazily chirping outside. The wind was shaking the curtains on the window, and I sank into a dream. Go! A dream. Russian dream. Just crazy, weird dream. I... Was that someone, a fart? Someone farted and knocked at the door at the same time. Was that, did you fart? <laughs> I did fart. Was that, was that real life? Yeah. That was, was awesome. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the knocks were soft, but so inc- but inconsistent. Uh, Lena, insistent. Lena is soft and insistent. I reluctantly got up and went to yeah, open it. Yeah, Strangely, there was nobody at the doorstep. Just another freaking apple. Nope. I rubbed my eyes and stepped out to look around. All the same, no one around. What is this bullshit? A dream, maybe? A Martian apple dream? It was already four o'clock. Those people on Mars. I felt jaded. I probably shouldn't have slept in the afternoon. After all, I knew what that was going to happen. I felt joshed. I felt bamboozled. I felt confuzzled. Tricked. I put on my boots up the cabin, locked the door. But where shall I go? All in all, there's not much time to dinner. Choose time? A sudden thought came to me that it would be nice to refresh myself, so I went towards the beach. The sun has passed the midday mark a while ago. The sun has passed. It gets dark really early here, early here in the south. I squinted and looked up at the flaming disc. Who is that just now? Oh, is it him? I flinched. The same mysterious guy was standing in front of me, and once again his face was hard to see due to the bright light. For a moment the sun blinded me, so I could not see anything besides the faded contours of objects. It's an angel. Are you stalking my ass, bro? Nope, I was just passing by. He answered calmly. I wish it showed you how they spoke at first, so you could choose to either read it the way it's meant to be read or do... Did yeah. you put your in a goblet of fire? He asked yeah. calmly to that stuff. Then you should know better. So you haven't seen anyone? Correct. Oh, the chloroform hit my face. Oh, I rubbed my eyes, but that did not help. Why didn't I see you? I'll see you at lunch. I asked bluntly. I wasn't hungry. He laughed. Ha 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 I will have to find out. But for starters, it's good to confirm that I am not mistaken and that he is just a local pioneer. <sighs> Let's stop right there. Do it. Thanks for joining us again. You keep... You always do. <laughs> keep doing it. Don't stop now. Yeah. Be consistent. Man, I'm, this, I love this. Yeah, I just want to know what's going on. It's so confusing and Russian. What? It's so Russian. It won't. All right. See you for all time.